Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Day is done, but love unfailing dwells ever here. Shadows fall, but hope prevailing calms every fear. Loving Father, none forsaking, take our hearts of love's own making. Watch our sleeping, guard our waking, be always near. Dark descends, but light unending shines through our night. You are with us, ever lending new strength to sight. One in love, your truth confessing, one in hope of heaven's blessing. May we see in love's possessing, love's endless light. Eyes will close, but you, unsleeping, watch by our side. Death may come in love's safe keeping, still we abide. God of love, all evil quelling, sin forgiving, fear dispelling, stay with us, our hearts indwelling, this eventide. If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept, remembering Zion. On the poplars that grew there, we hung up our harps. For it was there that they asked us, our captors, for songs, our oppressors, for joy. Sing to us, they said, one of Zion's songs. Oh, how could we sing the song of the Lord in, on alien soil? If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. O oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth, if I remember you not, if I prize not Jerusalem above all my joys. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, remember your pilgrim church. We sit weeping at the streams of Babylon. Do not let us be drawn into the current of the passing world, but free us from every evil and raise our thoughts to the heavenly Jerusalem. If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. In the presence of angels I will sing to you, my God. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. All earth's kings shall thank you when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the Lord's ways. How great is the glory of the Lord! The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly, and the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discord not the works of your hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Listen to the prayers of your church, Lord God. In the presence of the angels, we praise your name. You keep the proud at a distance and look upon the lowly with favor. Stretch out your hand to us in our suffering. Perfect in us the work of your love and bring us to life. In the presence of angels I will sing to you, my God. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and praise and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom 
and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. A reading from Colossians, chapter 3, verse 16. Let the word of Christ, rich as it is, dwell in you, in wisdom made perfect, instruct and admonish one another. Sing gratefully to God from your hearts in psalms, hymns, and inspired songs. Whatever you do, whether in speech or in action, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God the Father through him. I shall know the fullness of joy when I see your face, O Lord. I shall know the fullness of joy when I see your face, O Lord. Fulfillment and endless peace in your presence when I see your face, O Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. I shall know the fullness of joy when I see your face, O Lord. Do great things for us, O Lord, for you are mighty and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Do great things for us, O Lord. For you are mighty, and holy is your name. Let us praise Christ, who gives power and strength to his people, and let us entreat him with sincere hearts. Hear us, O Lord, and we shall praise you forever. Christ, our strength, you called your faithful ones to your truth. Mercifully grant them faith and perseverance. Direct our leaders according to your will, and help them to keep us in peace. You provided bread for the hungry crowd. Teach us to share our resources with the needy. Do not direct world leaders to give attention only to the needs of their own nations, but give them, above all, a respect and a deep concern for all people. Grant blessed life and resurrection to our brothers who have fallen asleep, and may all those who have believed in you share in your glory. Let us make our prayers and praise complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, may our evening prayer come before you, and let the faith our lips profess live in the prayerful thoughts of our hearts. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.